Hello there, and welcome to the War Factory for today, August the 10th. Uh, ha! Um, yeah, it is a very interesting War Factory. So I figured, alright, you know what? There's a bunch of these rocket launchers. They're all in the middle of the base. They're all going to cover the, the, the War Factory? The core? Um, so I figured... What a fantastic time to just sit back and do a little Sparky play. Because, uh, I don't know if I've done any Sparky play. So, I threw out the barrage. The reason for that is primarily to clear all the mines, but also to mark my targets. Because Sparky uses damaged buildings to be the, I guess, um, target for target finding? The, you know, target finding algorithm or something like that. Um, so... Smoked her right up into the safe space that just conveniently happened to be barred out. And then, as you can see, the first time I went through, a uh, little bit early on the smoke because I was like, man, there's a lot of stuff around. I don't want her to pick up, like, an extra shot. I'm just going to, like, throw my throw my smoke out and, and be chill. Uh, and also, admittedly, I'm kind of used to doing more sparking on ops where I have a longer distance to throw. I, I did not expect it to be this incredibly fast. I was just like, oh, oh, wow. Oh, Spark's already in smoke. Okay, all right, let's try that again, eh? Jeez, don't you know. So uh, I was able to take out the, the three rocket launchers just one at a time, nice and easy, you know, practicing with the smokes. Uh, and, I, and I had energy left over, so I was like, all right, well, let's keep blowing things up because that's kind of what I do. Um... Which brings us into attack number two, because as you can see, there's still rocket launchers standing, there's still, you know, shock launchers standing, there's there's things happening here. I've got a half-blown-up rocket launcher, so I figured, okay, finish that off, but the, I guess, whole excuse for this attack is down at the bottom there, the one rocket launcher next to the shock launcher, um, as you can see, they're, they're just kind of chilling there at full health. So, again, out comes the sparks, and I just rolled right on up, right in front of the two of them, because, uh, well, like, it's got pretty good range, but it doesn't matter. And then I tagged it with an artillery, so that both of them would be damaged while I was running up. You can obviously art ahead of time. And the reason I'm doing this is because of the double remote control, as you can see... Under the one smoke, I've got control on both, and it's actually killing off the shock launcher right now. Shock launcher didn't even need to die. Honestly, I feel sorry for the shock launcher and the shock launcher's family because it was collateral damage, but, you know, this is War Factory. Anyways, um, so, yeah, I, I, that was obviously a double. Now, I don't know if you can double Sparky and then still get back under the smoke. Um, I, I have never actually been adventurous enough to do that, especially on operations where, like, the fly time is a lot longer. Like, you'd almost have to, like, throw the smoke and then you've got to like do your double and then the smoke lands after the double and like you know eh, kind of crazy but um you know a it's it's pretty easy to do it does take a little bit of practice you definitely do have to have your targets marked up because you don't have time for that flare in between but like you know definitely play with it uh give it a shot and for those of you who are really, really cray-cray uh, and, and like to live life dangerously, it is totally possible and actually really, really easy to do triple Sparky and also, if you're really lucky and you've got the right set of circumstances, it is also possible to do a quad. I have done a quad and it is... Something to behold. Uh, it takes a lot of energy, but it will fry a bunch of stuff. Assuming you've got, you know, boom cannons and doom cannons and things around to make with the killings. Um, so anyways, obviously final attack actually landing the Zookas and uh, not doing a fantastic job of this. If this is a, a, a quick explanation of how to Sparky properly, uh, it is also an explanation of 
how not to Zuka. Uh, the machine gun got some of the Zukas at the beginning there. It was really sloppy. The shocks and the, uh, the horrible, all horrible. Uh, now, as you can see, I, I just ran up to where that rocket launcher was and then reparked my ladies um, to kind of sit in the safe spot blowing up the HQ. And uh, as, as sloppy as it was and as bad as it was, as you can see, they're just kind of chilling there. Now... I, I was really worried about that mortar, uh, to be honest, because I, I, when I scouted it out, I was like, oh yeah, this looks like I got plenty of room, but um, it didn't look like I had so much room, and I, I, I started getting really scared about it, but it, it worked out, uh, and then, like, once you're up there, the Zookas just kind of do their thing. For the record, uh, full disclosure, obviously I'm doing the boost, uh, doing no boost during the attack, However, um, because it is Zuka damage uh, try bonus, I don't know. I, I do have actually some Zuka damage boost going. Um, I think 40% is kind of where it's at. So, uh, yes, I am able to take down this enormous shield and the base with relatively few Zukas. You, if you don't have your Zuka damage uh, jacked up from the tribes, your results may vary. Uh, likewise, you know, I kind of bungled everything up and still was able to clear out the back end. Um, you, you might have to be a little more careful if you're if you're not jacking your your Zukas like crazy. Also, of course, um, you know, if you if you just don't have. A, statues you know lots and lots of statues all over the place so anyways all in all this is how i took down the war factory i probably could have gotten away with just the one sparky run and then the zookas but i wanted to show the double really badly and uh, i'm crazy like that so nah. anyways thanks very much for watching hopefully this has been helpful hopefully it's been entertaining and above all else hopefully you guys have a fantastic day